It's now second down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Makes the catch in open space. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Ridley lined up in the backfield. 32. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. Almost intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. They bring him to the turf. That's going to do it here in this one. Well, the lights were bright, and the team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man, winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. And I've said many times, today's football players, they love being on the big stage. Well, they were today, and they got it done. Beautiful throw that time by the quarterback. That's why we're calling the play of the game. It's just right on target. You get open, he'll put it on the money. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.
at the Georgia Dome for this week five matchup between the New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. We've got an unbeaten down on that field today. Yeah, the other team can't wait to put their first loss in that other column for them. So it should be exciting. Let's go down to the field for the latest. And here's Danielle Polini. Thanks, guys. Speaking with the coaching staff this week, they all talked about wanting to go into the bye week on a positive note. They talked about the bye week being much easier to handle when you're coming off a win you can carry with you during practice the next week. So that's the singular focus out here today. Guys, I'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. That'll be a touchback. And the ball will be placed at the point. Smith's coming out now for his first series. He's coming off a hit or miss game from a week ago. His quarterback rating on that occasion hovered right around 70. Now on first down. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Here's our look at the Jets offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. The defense comes out of the nickel. Second and nine, handoff. And a run right up the middle. Here's how the Falcons defensive lineup, their strength, their ability to stop the pass. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third and two. And they sack him on third down. And they force the quick three and out. Bill, we heard from the defense. They wanted to get to the quarterback early and often, and they've gotten to him early. Well, they're off to a good start, no doubt about that. The offensive line, they got to know they're in for a long, tough battle today, and they better toughen up. Breaks away. Here's the former Boston College quarterback, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan finally gets that playoff victory last year. He has turned into one of the NFL's best QBs. He can stand in there and throw it down the field and absolutely is the leader of this Falcons football team. Obvious running play here out of the strong eye. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. They don't scare anyone when it comes to their running attack. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Ryan from the gun, escaping the pressure. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Third and 12 to go. He's scrambling now, launching it deep. Almost intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Comes up short. Well, that time, it's like uh, you stand on the tee box, and you're trying to hit a 300-yard drive, and you miss hit it, and it goes 200. That's exactly what happened to the kick that time. It was just a miss hit. And Edwards is going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10 to the ground here. Picks up about eight. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That leads us to second down. And Ivory's taking the handoff. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? 
getting that penetration, getting off the football to snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. Of course, it's a three and out. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. This punt will be returned. The tackle is made. This should be the last play of the quarter. You'll get it in the weak eye. Drives ahead for four. The Jets with a nickel look here on defense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position and he threw it to the open hole. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. Brings it into his body. That'll stop the play right there. Well, good job that time of the defense. Get the pressure on the quarterback, but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time, he breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. Incomplete. You gotta find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. Throwing now to his left. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down and they got a good drive going here. Ryan's gonna throw once again on this down. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. A fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here, look at the receiver, pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. The Jets are ready to return the kick. This one's not leaving the end zone. First down here. He's going to secure the handoff. And we breach the two-minute warning. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And he's going to be brought down. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long. Gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time manager. Uh, three and out. That's a timeout by the team. Should be a routine punt. He wants to return this one. Breaks the tackle. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. They're going to get him here for a sack. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you're going to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Scrambling out of the pocket. The reception. Easy, wide open. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. Third and one. And they go draw. 
He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. Ryan sells the play fake and looks downfield. Breaks free. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Wide open for the catch. What a good job on the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Out of the gun. Looking to scramble, Tony Gonzalez with the ball. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Davis standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Coming up, second down. Going to take off with it. Looking for an open return. What a catch. Touchdown. <laughs> nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Jeremy Curley now with a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. First and 10. He wants to go deep. And it's incomplete. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? Guys, I got a chance to quickly speak with Geno Smith during halftime. Right now, his guys are trailing, but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point. He said, we haven't played our best football, but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win. That's it from down here, guys. We'll just have to see how things play out. Back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. <laughs> Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Julio Jones with the grab. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Second down and seven. With a 35. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner, knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. Quarterback drops back, play action. Gets away from the pressure, throws to the right. Tony Gonzalez with the ball. Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. Jones lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10. Play action. Escaping the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. On the money. He's brought down. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, 
It gets those big boys over there tired. First and 10. Steven Jackson gets it here. He stacked up at that point. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First down here after the run. They'll run it with him again. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the five. Trying to work that left side. Gain of two. Well, you get tackled inside the five-yard line like that. There's so few options for the offense. Are they going to be strong enough now to push it in? We'll find out. Fourth down. It's now or never. That's a touchdown. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it, and they get it. Count it. The Jets are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. And Edwards is in the slot. First down and 10. And Ivory is going to take the handoff now. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Second and eight. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, once again, we we see why this quarterback is in there playing. He is one tough guy. Takes the big hit and still throws the football down the field. Third and five. Working that left side. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Hunters all set here. He's got a chance to return this one. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. down as they head to the line. Jackson's hand at the football, and he'll try it left. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run, but the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. Second down here. Play action. Eyeing that left side. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. So, first and goal to go. And intercepted! This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. And complete. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Second down and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. And almost picked off. 
we've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. And Edwards is lined up in the slot. Third and ten. Looking at every option. The defense gets a sack. Defense calls a timeout. All set to punt here. He's going to try and return this punt. Jukes him. Pushes aside one tackler. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. First and 10. Jackson. Outside runs take time. And when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. Jones is a receiver in the slot. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. That kick is no good, no good. I think all the fans, and us included, thought this kick was gonna be good, but we can see the official sign, no good, it just missed. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. Now first and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. And Gates is going to get set in the slot for this snap. The second and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Winslow's playing out of position in the backfield here. Third down and two. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. Winslow's move from the tight end position to the slot. Stands in the pocket, and they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. The Falcons have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. Split backfield here, first and 10. Gets away from the pressure, inhales the pass. Again, the offensive coordinator has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Left round, left round. Man, man, man. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. The Jets' hopes are now slim and none as they surrender a late score. The score's 28 to zero. Better judgment says, take a knee. Winslow's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, 
You deserve to throw an interception. First down coming up. Toss to the outside. And that's a gain of nine. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. He'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Throws to the right, makes the grab. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Black round, black round, black round, black round. This play will black most likely be the last of the game. Looking to go up top, but another touchdown to increase the lead. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. We knew it early. This was blowout city from the beginning. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. <laughs> That's right, it's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few <laughs> minutes, but it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country, all your peers, they watch you, it just doesn't get better.